Hey, this is Scott from Hydro Protocol. Today we're going over how to build your own decentralized exchange using the Hydro Protocol DEX scaffolding. So what this is going to do is uh, set up a decentralized exchange on your local server in just a couple minutes. It's designed to be extremely easy to use and fast, and it will it's, it's fully functioning DEX. You could deploy this, do a lot of other stuff with it, um, but we'll just kind of go through the process here. We're on the Hydro Protocol GitHub under Hydro Scaffold DEX. This is our standard decentralized exchange scaffold. I have a couple other ones as well that I'll continue to do more videos for. But the README section here has a guide and I'm just gonna basically follow along with the guide and uh, get this set up. So if all goes well, we'll have one set up here in a couple minutes. So prereqs gotta have Docker, Docker Compose installed. We got a link to install them if you don't. And let's get moving. So I got my Docker set up over here. Um, I've already installed it for the sake of this video. I'm going to go ahead and start with step number one, cloning the Git repository. Once this is done, we're going to go into our newly created directory. And with our new directory here, we're gonna go ahead and run this next command. So this is gonna pull and up. So what this will do is download all the necessary files that you need to run this, and then it's actually going to launch the exchange onto localhost 3000, if all goes well. A couple notes, it does require some ports to be open, so make sure these ports are open on your computer. Um, it's gonna set up all the environments, everything, all the really complicated stuff is kind of done for you. So um, it's gonna go super fast on my computer because it's cached, um, nicer for this video, but uh, other computers, it'll just take a few minutes to download the files. So if all goes well, we have this uh, decentralized exchange set up here on our localhost 3000. So this is what it looks like. It's got an order book all set up here already. Uh, we did this, uh, we basically set up a, a maker that I'll talk about a little bit more. But it looks like a basic template here, right? This is your market selector, you got buy, sell, all that fun stuff. So following along here on the uh, on the GitHub, it, the next steps are all about test driving, configuring your decks. Um, I'll go through some of these at least here. Um, you can get pretty in depth here with the configuration section, but first thing we're gonna do is connect a wallet to play around with it, make sure that this actually works how we would expect. So uh, we actually set up a wallet for you. So in the please click it to select the wallet area, we're gonna go to browser wallet, and here's this address and it has 9,000 F. Oh my goodness. So this is obviously on a test net, but it's still kind of exciting. So we're set up here with our wallet, it's all connected here. We've already got some tokens enabled and such. Um, here's our order book. We're on a HOT die marketplace here. I'm gonna just turn my little video capture off so I stop uh, blocking off the screen. So you can see the full thing. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna make a big order and we're gonna kind of see what happens. So I'm gonna set the price up on one of these big ones. So I'll do like a 1.09 or something like that. And I'm gonna buy like, let's just put a for like 10,000 die or something like that. So, or 10,000 hot uh, or die. So I'm gonna place this order. And you notice that it just instantly creates that order. It's just successfully canceled uh, created order. Um, I'm just signing the action of creating an order actually doesn't cast, cost any gas, nor does the action of canceling an order cost any gas. This is one of the big advantages of the Hydro system. Um, it's a super, super big deal for gaining uh, like liquidity and such. Um, you, any sort of market maker really needs to be able to place and cancel orders without it costing any money. So, um, so you can see what happened here is a bunch of orders were filled in this process. Uh, and you notice that it did pick up the correct prices along the way. It didn't just fill everything at the 1.09. It said, hey, I'm the person placing the order, so I'm going to get the best possible price I can at each interval. So all that kind of happened naturally. Again, I can also cancel an order just like so. Boom, super free and easy to cancel orders. So it's, again, it's really, really nice feature on Hydro. This also shows off the Hydro liquidity module we're using here, which is a constant product market maker. So if you're familiar with Uniswap, it's a really similar kind of uh, setup, but we just placed a whole bunch of buy orders into this, so we bought a bunch more HOT. So we've loaded the market maker up with more DAI, and as you can see, the, the depth now of the DAI, uh, the DAI orders, these are buy orders of HOT, right, um, has increased. And there's a bunch more orders down here that didn't exist. The market maker's automatically placed these orders now to kind of like show this up. So, and they're also, just, they filled it in with a couple more of these orders as well, right? There's these intermediate ones. Previously, it was like 1.02, right? Because if we look back to what we filled, we filled one at 1.02. Um, so that, that didn't exist before. So it kind of shifts it up a little bit. So this is, this is a dynamic kind of system. Um, one of the big questions that we typically get with people starting their own relayers is how do I get liquidity? And there's a bunch of stuff that we've written about this, but this is just one easy way to kind of bootstrap liquidity on the market. So. 
All right, the last thing I'm going to show off here is the Hydra CLI. So this is what you would do if you wanted to do things like add a market or change your fees or other big time configurations within your decentralized exchange. So we want to make this easy as well. So we're going to go back to our readme doc and it's talking here. This shows how to create a new market. Um, I've already done this, but we can, uh, we can go through it here real quick. It's basically two, spot, two steps. One step is you log into the CLI and the next step is that you create your market and, and do the publish step and all that. So looks like so. We're back here in our terminal. I'm going to enter the CLI here. And again, we have this whole CLI manual here uh, that shows all the various things that you can do within the, the CLI. So it's, it's a pretty powerful tool. But uh, we're back in here. You can see this has changed up a little bit. Um, I'm going to do a hydro deck CTL market list, which is going to list the markets that we have. Um, and I just went through this step previously here of creating the new market, and it's just by entering these two things. And if we go back over here, we can see we have this new market up here. So obviously the order book's going to be blank, but it's uh, it's really that simple to create a new market. Um, so yeah, those are the basic concepts here for the uh, Hydro Scaffold for your decentralized exchange. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is designed to be pretty easy to run and really, I mean, I think previously the time to get somebody set up and write their own decentralized exchange was looking at like six plus months. You know, a lot of, a lot of these big exchanges take a long time to write these DEXs. And as you can see here, you could, you could really bootstrap this, get this to a point where you're ready to deploy it, uh, I mean, in weeks. So. Um, the idea here is to make it a lot simpler for people. So hope this helps. If you guys have questions, comments, let us know. We have a Slack channel um, specifically designed just for helping people that are going through this uh, hyper-relayer creation process. So we'd love to, to hear from you. Thanks.